Someone you trust right now could be trying to steal all you have. This video will teach you how to spot a scam. Believe it or not, they all use the same techniques, and there are books written about it. Fixture on Wall Street, Bernie Madoff, 70 years old, arrested by the FBI. I arrested him this morning after he told senior employees yesterday that his business was a giant Ponzi scheme. He tried to distribute early bonuses to... Have you ever lied to someone you love? Have you ever been lied to by someone you trust? We are all liars, and we are all being lied to. Deception is everywhere, and it affects our lives in ways we may not even realize. In this video, we will explore the psychology of deception and how we can learn from the stories of some of the most notorious examples of liars and their victims. We will use three books as our guides. The Confidence Game, The Smartest Guys in the Room, and the Wizard of Lies. These books reveal the secrets of deception and the lessons we can learn from them. Stay tuned and don't believe everything. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. What is deception Indeed, and I why is it important to understand? Deception appropriate. is the act of In deliberately fact, making someone wrong. believe something that is not it true or concealing something that is true. Deception can be used for various purposes, such as persuasion, manipulation, entertainment, or self-protection. Deception can also have various consequences, such as harm, benefit, or indifference. Deception is important to understand because it affects our perception of reality, our relationships, and our decisions. According to some studies, the average person lies about 1.65 times per day and is lied to about 10 to 200 times per day. Dominic Strauss Deception with also Obama, costs the global economy fingertip. billions of dollars every year due to fraud, corruption, and misinformation. Deception can also have serious psychological and emotional impacts, such as distrust, guilt, shame, or anger. To help us understand the psychology of deception, we will use three books as our sources the Confidence Game by Maria Konnikova. This book explores the world of con artists and how they use deception to exploit our weaknesses and desires. The book tells the stories of some of the most famous and successful con artists in history and analyzes the psychological principles and techniques they use to manipulate their targets. The Smartest Guys in the Room by Bethany McLean and Peter Elkin. This book investigates the rise and fall of Enron one of the biggest corporate scandals in history. The book reveals how the executives of Enron used deception to create and maintain their fraudulent business and how they fooled the investors, the media, and the regulators. The Wizard of Lies by Diana B. Henriquez. This book examines the case of Bernie Madoff, the mastermind of the largest Ponzi scheme ever. The book exposes how Madoff used deception to lure and deceive thousands of investors and how he managed to conceal his massive fraud for decades. Have you ever fallen for a scam? Have you ever been tricked by someone who seemed trustworthy and charming? If you have, don't feel bad. You are not alone. Millions of people around the world have been victims of scams, and many of them never saw it coming. Scams are one of the most common and effective forms of deception, and they can take many shapes and forms. But what makes a scam work? How do scammers deceive their targets and make them part with their money, their information, or their emotions? Here are some interesting facts and figures that will give you a broader and deeper perspective on deception. 60% of people lie at least once during a 10-minute conversation and tell an average of two to three lies. The most common reasons for lying are to avoid hurting someone's feelings, to avoid getting into trouble, to make oneself look better, or to get something one wants. There are seven universal emotions that can be detected by facial expressions. Happiness, sadness, anger, fear, surprise, disgust, and contempt. However, these expressions can also be faked, masked, or suppressed, making it harder to tell if someone is lying or not. There are four main methods to detect deception. Verbal cues, nonverbal cues, physiological cues, and cognitive load. Verbal cues are the words and phrases that liars use or avoid, such as qualifiers, hedges, or inconsistencies. 
Nonverbal cues are the body movements and gestures that liars make or avoid, such as eye contact, smiles, or fidgeting. Physiological cues are the changes in the body functions that liars experience, such as heart rate, blood pressure, or sweating. Cognitive load is the mental effort that liars exert to maintain their deception, such as memory, attention, or creativity. These facts and figures show us that deception is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that involves various aspects of human psychology, behavior, and communication. They also show us that deception is not always easy to detect or prevent, and that we need to be careful and vigilant when dealing with deception.